most popular questions we get here at Texilla is how do I access my files when I'm on the go? One method that I've been testing out for a while now is the pogo plug. That's the new pogo this plug. This is the new pogo plug, yeah. So it's a cute, pink. It is pink. <laughs> um, a few quick things about it that uh, if you've never seen one before, though it looks like there could be, there is not actually any kind of hard drive built into here. There's no storage in the actual pogo plug. Okay. So it's not it's a, it's a NAS, but you actually hook it up to external drives that are, you already have. Hence the USB ports. Hence the, the three USB ports that are right here. So what you do is you uh, plug it into an outlet, connect your Ethernet cable to your router, and then connect an external storage device via one of the three USB ports. Then you just log into my.pogoplug.com and activate the device. Um, I set mine up at home in literally a minute. A minute. Like that. As long as it takes you to plug these things in and go on there and say like, look for the new device on, on, <laughs> on the on the network, and it finds it, and then you're all you're good to go. So could I do like four USB drives on that? Yeah, I think you could. Well, you could do three. I think is there one oh, on there's the one side? on the front too. Ah, there's one <laughs> on the front, but there's a three in back here. Yeah, I have a I have just a tiny little mm -hmm. two gigabyte um, USB thumb drive that I've plugged into the front of mine, and that's perfect for just you know, throwing a few files up there and, cool. uh, yeah, but you could do like a, you know, one terabyte, two terabyte drive and have access Fire to all of those files <laughs> all the time. Um, this is the second version of the Pogo Plug and it's had some nice features added actually. It does automatic syncing with selected folders on your computer. You can drag and drop music and photo slideshows. It really is like a Dropbox a lot. It really things. is, yeah, except with unlimited, you pay once and then right. you get as much as much storage as you happen to have at your, at your disposal. Right. It has an automatic address book, it does video playback of movies from the Pogo Plug on the web or streaming to a mobile device, nice. and it also has support for Xbox and PS3 streaming. So basically it works both inside your home network and over the internet by logging into the My Pogo Plug website? Right, so I can show you on, on, on my computer here. So I've pulled up the Pogo Plug page, and uh, you can see the files that I've got on my, on my Pogo Plug device. So I made these folders here, so you can see like music, when I click on that, you've got some, some tunes which we can actually play. We'll play Colton, because he's the only one who won't sue us if we play it on the air. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> we hope and pray. Please don't sue us, super cool nerd music guy. Yeah, and then eventually it, it pops up. It depends on how fast your internet connection is, of course. See there, the little player comes up at the bottom. So you can stream that, and then you can also access the same stuff on your phone. I'll show you that in a little bit, too. <laughs> Speaking of Dropbox. But we've got the... Uh, Movies, you can play some movies. So you could use this for your iTunes collection or your Zoom or pretty much anything you want to share inside or outside of your house. Yeah. I like it. And you can share with people too. So you can actually go to that address book feature and uh, pick the files that you want to share with different people and then have like multiple people looking at different files at any time. And then wow. they can download those files if you want them to. Can people upload files to you on it? Um, I'm not sure. I think you might have to. Let's see, you know, I don't know actually if other people can upload files. I don't know if they can. They mm -hmm. can share their files with you if they have a PokePlug account, but I don't know if they can actually upload it into your hard drive space. I think only you have access to that. And another cool thing is that um, it shows up as drives on your computer too. You don't have to use the mm -hmm. software because you can access everything over the web, but if you want to be able to have it show up as, a, as an external drive on your desktop, um, you can just install the software. It works for Mac, PC, Linux, pretty much anything. So setup on this is pretty painless. It's, uh, what is it, 130 bucks? Yeah, it's the new one. It's much fancier than the original one. Right, the new, the older one was just, it just plugged into the wall. It was like a little white outlet. That it was a white wall. rectangle that plugged into the wall and it worked great, but it didn't have as many USB ports on it. And also it kind of took up a lot of space on the wall. This one <laughs> you can kind of fit wherever you want to and you've got the long cable that you can use. And it's got this really interesting design. Um, this is where, you know, your little cable management system going on mm -hmm. here which is super nice and it just it looks like a little spaceship I'm kind of into it I, it's it's I mean, it's it's a big design change from the first because the first one was kind of like we have this cool Linux software we're gonna throw it on whatever we can get from like Chinese manufacturer X this is like actually has design to it mm -hmm. um, anything so Mac Windows, iPhone. Right, yeah, we should probably talk about the specs a little bit. Um, it does USB 2.0, pretty much all the drive formats. It does NTFS, it does FAT32, Mac OS Extended, Journaled, and Non Journaled, you know, EXT2 and 3. Um, operating Linux systems, on. it works on pretty much all the Windows, you know, uh, OS 10, 10.5 and above, Linux. Um, 
Yeah, it's a so open it, platform. Though. It works, yeah. As long as you have a pretty good network connection, it should do you just fine. Um, what I love too is it has an iPhone app. It has apps for pretty much all the major phone operating Android, systems. IPhone. Android, iPhone. Um, I think I'm pretty sure BlackBerry. Palm. So you can play like your pictures and your videos over your well, yeah. probably your audio. Can you well, play that's video? one of the best parts about it is that you can actually stream video from oh, your wow. Pogo plug so at like home. So it's like Orb.com built into a box. Right. Yeah. The the app is actually really cute too. So you can see my drive here. It loads up all my stuff. It's it's best if you have Wi-Fi, obviously. <laughs> um, let's see. Our Wi-Fi here in the studio has been hating on us as a Yeah, <laughs> it's not the best. But you can see there, hopefully our, my little movie will come up. Sorry, my screen is so schmutzied. But I can hear it playing. It shows a little preview. The video has been a little dicey mm -hmm. for me. I've tested it with a couple different file formats, and I have to play around with it a little bit more to right. see what file formats work best, especially for the streaming on the iPhone. Well, video is also really frustrating because if you have a really high-res HD file mm -hmm. at your home server, it's got to go up from your home server to the internet, which is usually a really slow connection, then across the internet, and then down to your phone. It yeah. Can, it, it may not be the Pogo plug's fault. <laughs> we need more upward bandwidth. We need more, you know, the, yeah. It's, the, the, like the uploads from the my music system too. was a nightmare. I mean, that's that song came up right away, about as fast as my iPod would have pulled it up. I like that regularly. Thought. So if you've got, a, and we should point out, this is all coming from Veronica's. This is plug yeah. At this is obviously house. not this one. This is set up in my house, like in San Francisco, like a good, a good, a good ways away. <laughs> <laughs> Two miles away or so, so all that that's traveling over those airwaves and, and coming back down right into my little iPhone. I like that thought. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good device. I mean, like I said, it's going to run you about 130 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, you can get them anywhere. I think I think Fry's is carrying them now. Really? So if you don't want to order it online for some reason, you can go pick it up at your local Fry's. I think they're looking for more retail distributors. If you're on the East Coast, you've probably never heard of Fry's. Uh, if you come to the West Coast, go to a Fry's while you're here. It's a unique experience. Yeah, but it's a great way to not only use, uh, like, use it as a NAS and get all your content wherever you are, but it's also a great way to share files and, you know, stay on top of your content. I have figured out one way that Dropbox has it beat. What? Earthquakes. Earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's in Veronica's house in an earthquake. Who knows where it's going to end up? <laughs> so definite thumbs up. Thumbs up. You're using it. You're living the pogo plug lifestyle. You're into it. Indeed. Have you gotten rid of your Dropbox yet? No. <laughs>